I really did give up on content creation. The title is not clickbait. After going on a good run last year, I suddenly stopped creating content. I even had subscribers commenting, asking where I've been, what I've been up to, why did I stop posting? So this video is going to focus on two things, why I gave up and the direction this channel is going to take going forward. I'll address my disappearance first. Longtime subscribers to the channel will know that I was going on a good run last year, going from just a couple hundred subs to about 3000 plus in less than a year. Right in the middle of that momentum, I did like the avatar and vanished. And truthfully for me, everything changed because at that time, my only brother was dying. Naturally, all my attention shifted there. Then when he died, my creativity and interest in producing content for this channel kind of died too. I then spent the next several months exploring different outlets and trying to heal myself. Initially, I believed that process would have happened quickly because I consider myself to be an emotionally strong person. However, as time passed, I realized that there's no set time on when that process ends. I gained a deeper understanding of bereavement. On Neurolaunch.com, I found an interesting description of bereavement. Clinically, bereavement is defined as the period of grief and mourning after a loss. Although bereavement, grief, and mourning are used interchangeably, they are distinct concepts in psychology. Grief is the internal experience of loss, the emotional response that comes from within. Mourning is the outward expression of grief, the rituals, the tears shed in public, things like wearing black to funerals. Bereavement isn't limited to the death of a loved one, though that's often its most profound manifestation. The loss of a job, a relationship, a home, or even a cherished dream can plunge us into bereavement. It's a state that recognizes the value of what's been lost, a testament to the depth of human connection and aspiration. In Musical Quarterly in 1990, William A. Frosch wrote, In any case, sadness and loss of interest and drive during periods of bereavement are expected and normal. If Mozart had not been upset by his parents' deaths, his wife's illnesses, and his separations from her, he would be less than human. Frosch's words encapsulate one of the most significant aspects of bereavement. If death is a reminder of your humanity, then bereavement is the call to contemplate it. The emotions felt after the loss teach you about the person or thing you've lost and give you an inescapable lesson about your relationship with them or it. For some, like it was for myself, this is a joyful contemplation on a life well lived and a profound relationship. That joy naturally counterpoised by the sadness of that story's inevitable end. For others, it can be a wretched remembrance, a past they'd prefer forgotten, or it could be any of the countless forms bereavement can take on. What they all share in common is that the process never truly ends. It only becomes less prominent with the passing of time. The emotions can resurface at any time, and every time they do. How you grieve, how you mourn, and how you handle that whirlwind of emotion teaches you a lesson about yourself. After I had that epiphany or realization, I tried to make a return early in the year, but it just didn't feel the same. And it didn't feel the same because I wasn't the same person anymore. I was forced into a period of introspection of sorts, forced to critically examine my content, who I was, who I was becoming, and what exactly I wanted my content to look like. I still don't have an answer for that, but I have an idea of where I'm going and where I want to go. From here on out, I'm planning to make my content a bit more cinematic. I'll incorporate more B-roll clips from my travels and maybe even record more A-roll of myself sharing my experiences and opinions on my travels as well. Additionally, I want my content to get a bit more philosophical simply because that's how I think sometimes. And I think that's the best way for me to express my opinions about many of the topics I discuss. I also think it'll be a better representation of me and it'll give my content a unique spin that some people may enjoy. As I go through this period of experimentation, the content may be great, 
it may be terrible, but that's what the comment section is for. Your feedback will help me determine what's good, what isn't, what works, what doesn't. So consider this video a sample of what's to come in my upcoming videos. Let me know what you think and don't be afraid to comment and tell me what topics you'd want me to discuss in upcoming videos. I'm the Unspecialist and as always, thanks for your support, thanks for your patience and thanks for watching.